In patients with multiple myeloma, new treatment approaches are needed to attain long-term disease control. In a previous Phase II trial, the addition of daratumumab, a monoclonal antibody targeting CD38, to standard of care therapy for stem cell transplantation eligible patients with newly diagnosed disease improved outcomes. A new trial further investigates this regimen. In this international randomized open label phase 3 trial, 709 patients with newly diagnosed multiple myeloma who were eligible for autologous stem cell transplantation were assigned to receive one of two regimens. The first was a combination of subcutaneous daratumumab with bortezomib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone, known as VRD, induction and consolidation therapy, and with lenalidomide maintenance therapy. The second group received VRD induction and consolidation therapy and lenalidomide maintenance therapy alone. The primary endpoint, progression-free survival, was significantly higher at 48 months in the group receiving daratumumab-based therapy at an estimated 84.3%, as compared with 67.7% in the group receiving VRD alone. Key secondary endpoints of complete response or better and minimal residual disease negative status also favored the daratumumab-based therapy. No new safety signals emerged. Serious adverse events were more common in the group receiving daratumumab-based treatment, but adverse events that led to treatment discontinuation were less frequent in this group. The authors conclude that in transplantation-eligible patients with newly diagnosed multiple myeloma, progression-free survival was significantly improved with the addition of subcutaneous daratumumab to VRD induction and consolidation therapy and lenalidomide maintenance therapy. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.